really Konami? Excuse me, wrong people to blame the finger at this time. Really, Viz? Summon Sorceress? Holy actual balls, man. You know how many people are just like, ooh, piece of candy. I love Degeneracy being printed on fucking money. Do you know what is going to happen now to the TCG? Boop. It's going to shit. Where's my Security Dragon, though? Security Dragon? Security Dragon? Still have Security Dragon. Alright. Let's dig into this, shall we? Yep, this is a market watch video, but we got a pair of summon sorceress here that we need to just talk about for a second here. Believe the cutoff date is 420 for this. Oh, the absolute irony in that statement, but god dang it, you did it. This card is going to be so much money, it's going to actually be, I'm calling it now, these things are going to be like 40 to 50 dollars. I don't care how many people are going to buy. This is unlike Link Rebo. This is pretty much going in everybody's deck. Because this card is actually just the bonkers. So, prepare your anus. This is coming. Alright, moving on along. Invoked Makabas. Evidently, Makabas were 55. And they've been seeing a very steady drop for... Uh, we're going to say a hot minute here. Um... So if everybody and their mother's trying to play this, and everyone's trying to sell it and make some quick money, um, it would make sense for the card to start dropping. I mean, look, market price was sitting at $50. Lowest currently available is $45. There, there is a drop in these. Invocations also, they're not $38 anymore. I mean, still close enough. But these are dropping. Meltdowns did go up, though. Meltdowns are still sitting at $550. And two people decided to ruin my Kraken dream by listing Krakens at 394. Thank you guys. I really appreciate you. Especially you, ideally, to wait. Thank you for not making Kraken $4 anymore. Outside of that, uh, I, I get the invoked hype train. I, I don't know if people worried about some sort of balance coming through and ruining his day, but seeing these start dropping is pretty good. Um, all right. The don't worry, we gotta get through this, and then there's there's some interesting stuff dropping here. Ash Blossom sitting at 57s, Demise is 23. Regeki, huh? Seventeen dollars still. Nothing changed there. Ogres 14s, Drawls 14s, Lightnings 13s, still holding where they are. Terraforming all secrets. If you want these, it's better than paying what the ultimates are. So you're sitting at eleven on these. BLs sitting at sevens. Now, what's going on back here? A few people have asked me if they should consider picking up Return of the Dragon Lords. I don't see it getting any cheaper until another reprint, um, but this is something that you're going to have to fight with yourself on. So, sevens, dragon turds, fives. If you're a goat player, Delinquent is still sitting at $4. That's a very good pickup. Four books on Ghost Reapers isn't bad either. Dragon Ravines sitting at fucking $4 as well, double summons. A lot of the stuff is stabilized and isn't moving. It's going to take one greedy bastard to start coming through here and eating this stuff up. And trust me, it'll happen. This stuff will start disappearing very quickly. I won't be shocked. Um, Jenkins Street of Whites. Lol. Dollars. Yeah, it's a lot of cheap stuff. Like I said, this is just more or less a, hey guys, check this out. There might be some movement in the future. Just make sure you get what you want. Oh, it's cheap. Constructs are still ungodly expensive. Once again, we've been following this for the last couple of days since the OCG. I mean, $32 for a first dead on ultimate light play. That's not necessarily terrible for a one of, but near mint, you're looking at 40 bucks. Everyone seems to love Construct. I'm, I still don't know what the hype train was for Shadals. Uh, I mean, I played it. It was fun. You know, Sober Teller Knights and Yang Zings made me just want to eat my own poop, but just interesting, interesting, interesting for that price tag. Alright, Ojamas are evidently on the verge of a buyout. <sighs> Fucking DDP, there's one on the market at $30. Ojama King's always kind of been money. <laughs> 
Ojama Reds are twelve dollars. All right. Ojama Blues still like a couple bucks. But oh, DR4 Ojama Magic one on the market. Uh, DT Ojama Yellow. Jesus Christ. Ojama Green seven listings on the market. All right. That's for the Chaz Princeton. Ojama Black DR2 eight listings on the market. Ojama Yellow five listings on the market for DR2. Yeah, it definitely definitely looks like these are slowly disappearing. Now DCR, there is a good number of these. It's still low. 14's kind of low. DR1, 1 on the market. Duelist Pack, Chaz, 4 Yellow. There's a good number of these. There's a lot of IOC Ojama Black. Yeah, it just looks like the specialty sets are getting bought out, though. But that's still pretty ridiculous. A lot of these still. Jesus. If for some reason you want to play Ojamas, you still have your base rarities here. Don't get too worried about it. Just the DR4s and the specialty sets, like I said, are starting to disappear. Ojama Magics are still very much available. Tune Tables also uh, was put on a note list of slowly disappearing. Definitely the Supers are gone. Uh, eight Golds available. Uh, let's see here. Duels Packs, eight. And then, God, Commons, only four. In Yugi's world, only eight. Yeah, looks like these are starting to disappear. That's interesting. Slow buy us out over time. Now, this one was a kicker. Did you guys know the Majesty Maiden is actually a $5 card right now? I actually, I'm more shocked about this than anything. You guys remember when these were like a dollar? Well, they've actually had a massive increase as of late. It, I guess it definitely makes sense considering... You know, just a lot of the TCG is starting to kind of like True Draco at the moment. So, when she's the only other one you can play three of. I guess it makes sense. Retail Snow also was bought out, according to uh, the internet today. Supers are at $7, and there are 10 listings available. Commons are still sitting at basically $3. But, yeah. 60 card decks, people got a lot of hope for them. Moving on along here. Foolish Burials. <sighs> yep, we'll come back here. I'm here for DTs. Yep, DTs did get bought out. Twenty dollars a dual terminal foolish barrel. Your supers, you are still looking light play sixty four dollars. What's man got a near mint seventy five for foolish? What a fucking time to be alive. These dropped a little bit since the last time I looked at them, but still. Topological bomber dragon was also bought out in the UK, I believe, yesterday. Um, I was told to check into this on our side of the market. Still sitting at like $16, $17 for the most part. But is this something noteworthy to buy? I, I personally don't think so. This just kind of seems like a broken pipe dream in my opinion. But still very much sitting here. Moving on along. Prohibitions. Uh, CP08 Prohibitions. Lowest on the market right now. Four near mint, $25. What in the fuck is going on here? Uh, just buy this $15 light play and I don't even care. Like, light plays as good as near mint for something like this. But, Core has one for 20 and then 15 Hmm. I feel like this should be like mod play or something for this price difference. But, still a very cheap one available on the secondary market. No real complaints here. Moving along. Ultimate Terraformings. Dear fucking god. What in the fuck happened? We were tracking these for so long at 35 and then the secret rare came out down here, and all of a sudden the shit went up 10 more dollars because it's highest rarity. This was a really high price spike, but I guess I guess that's what happens with bling. But yeah, 46 dollars. Thank God I got my set when I did. Chaos hunters. Evidently, bling chaos hunters are a lot of money. Let's take a look. Uh, all right, first I'd like play looking at seventeen dollars, and then it jumps to twenty. Oh my god! All right, well if you're planning on playing Chaos Hunter anytime soon, I have some incredibly bad news for you. If you want near mints, you're looking at twenty dollars. Jesus, man, that's kind of ridiculous. All right, moving on along. Star Pack Goblinbergs, the blingy Goblinbergs for that fresh Starfoil treatment. That's right. For for Starfoil, any of these. You're looking at three forty five to four dollars, and then for Star Pack twenty thirteen, you're looking at four four as well. Oh, what what's going on here? 
What what day and age do we have to live in for these things to fucking be money? What's a man got to do for a near mint first ed? <laughs> There's no near mint first ed on here for fucking SP13. Are you fucking kidding me? Six bucks for light play. <laughs> you can get the fresh unlimited for six dollars. Cry yourself to sleep. Uh, evidently blue spirit dragons. That's right. The secret rares are fifteen dollars, or you can pick up your CT13s for three dollars. How much money do you want to spend? Do do yeah, this one. <laughs> then last but not least, Trent was telling me to check out Trihorned Dragon First Edition. Let's go take a look on back here, shall we? First edition heavy play. Oh my god. <laughs> for unlimited thirty dollars. And let's spin the dial on back even further. First edition oh there's not a first edition near men on here. First edition light play forty dollars. For fucking Trihorn Dragon from LOB. Yeah, an unworthy dragon with three sharp horns sprouting from its head. Great time to be alive. Oh, guys, that's honestly all I got today. Market Watch, please, if I miss anything, please leave a comment down below. Prepare thy wallet for summon sorceress. And, well, guys, that's all I got. Later. The ride never ends, guys. Make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel. Make sure you guys check out Van Cole 40 for my Cardfight Vanguard channel. And join me and House of Champions on the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching, guys, and please have a good day.